you haven't watched Lionheart by now, what are you waiting for? Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Odi and this is Odi TV. So, if you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I see you. Yes, you. It only takes two seconds to hit that subscribe button. I beg. Uh-uh. Not to do shakara. Help. So, today, we're going to be talking about Lion Heart. Whew. I think it's the first Nigerian Netflix original movie ever. And it's, it's also Genevieve Naji's directional debut. So, you know, we have to support our Genevieve. The lead cast members are Genevieve Naji, Nkemowo, Oreka Wenu, Pite Dochie, Kanayo Kanayo. Supporting characters we have Ngozi Ezonu, Fino, Peter of Peace Square, Kali Kago, and Jima Mausunde. So, this movie is about a family, the Obiago family. They own a transportation company called Lionheart and Chief Obiago had a health scare and had to retire and he called his uncle his brother from Onicha which is which was played by Inkem Owo to come and assist with the company until he think, thinks his daughter Genevieve is ready to take on the company as a CEO and MD. Cinematography of this movie was in incredible it was incredible like there was even a scene i noticed that they did a one shot take where they continuously shot that scene without having to cut i was really really impressed i like the whole picture i like the picture quality i like the color contrast that was going on i noticed that there was a lot of green in this movie i don't know whether it was to signify something but either way well, we love green. It's part of the Nigerian flag. Okay. I love, I don't know, in the picture there was a dark theme going on. Like the contrast was a little bit dark, but it was clear. It was clear. <laughs> it was clear. Don't get me wrong. I kind of like that the contrast was dark because it brought out, the, I don't know, there's a way they did it that it brought out some color. It made some colors pop more. In like Genevieve's melanin and Fido Doche's red hat. It, that one it was just shining bra bra bra. I love the dietary family dynamic in the whole movie. The dynamic between Ikemowo and um, Genevieve Naji. They did not try to outshine others. They knew their strength and they know their strength as actors and they know what they can do. So there was no. Mm, mm, mm. The first scene with that, had, that with Fino was a little bit ee, because you could tell that it's not really his comfort zone and he's not really. It's not what he's really used to acting. There were a lot of Nollywood iconic veterans in this movie. I was even surprised to see Ngozi as Ngozi as Zonu. Like when I saw her, I was like, uh uh. And I love the fact that they did not try to shove the veterans down our throats. Like everybody had their own time to shine. Even though they had small small speaking roles, they uh, they all had their time to shine. That the board members had a lot of Nollywood veterans. Even had Chief Zabudaya in it. Uh uh. I love the way Peter Doche speaks. He speaks so eloquently and so clear. Who I beg? Where is my man that can speak like Peter Doche? Where are you? Show yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I love the relationship between Oyeka Wenu and Peter Doche. It kind of reminded me of my parents. The scene, there's a scene I really loved was that scene where they were just all the family members were sitting at that dinner table. It kind of reminded me of when you're you, maybe it's just you or you're just you and your sibling and you're sitting at the table at a table full of elders. The way you don't speak unless they stuck to you. There were not really cringy scenes in this movie. The only cringy scene I can think of was when she went to meet Arinze, which was played by. Peter of Peace Square. When she walked in and he was singing Omogemi at the party. Me. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Genevieve, we all know you can't sing. So I don't know what made you think that if you add that, uh, what's it called? That scene was a little bit cringy. Some few things I noticed that were not really great. The plot of this movie was very, very predictable. It wasn't predictable in a cliche way, but it was predictable in a way that they executed it. They kind of executed it a little bit different. It was not come for me, but I don't know. I don't think she, Genevieve showed enough emotion. I mean, I know that as the adult of the family, you are just you're supposed to comport yourself as far everybody's looking at you first before they look at any of your other siblings and there's and you cannot break down in front of people so i guess our way of breaking down 
was when she didn't go for her regular morning jog. And I loved all her outfits. They complemented her body and skin very well. I loved her updo. I loved the makeup. Everything was subtle. Everything was clean. I loved Jemima Osunde's acting. She, Jemima Osunde is a very is a great actress. I love her. Hi. I guess there were a few some a few inconsistencies, especially in that board meeting area, but. I don't know business like that, so I can't really say. I like the story, I like the plot, I like the sound, I like every the sound was perfect, cinematography perfect, picture quality perfect. Um, uh, Clarence, over Clarence was worrying this movie, and I love that they did not shoot this movie in Lagos, that they shot it in Enugu. We have 36 states in Nigeria, and for some reason, People in Hollywood industry think that they can the only one of the only places they can shoot a movie is in Lagos. So I love that it was not in Lagos. You could see the Enugu, the beauty of Enugu. Enugu will know that it's not for their red sand. So you could see it. I like that. I love that they showed the Igbo culture. I loved the evil they were speaking oh so I kind of knew that when she met Hamza at the airport and they shook hands and their hands lingered. See, this is how rich people used to meet though. <laughs> you know how we used to one that we see on Bella Niger, uh, Dangote's son is, is getting married to an idim, indi, idimi. This how that's how it happened. That's how it happened for, for our very eyes. This how this how it happened. Anyway, so my rating for this movie is an 8 over 10. Mainly because of the story. Mainly, mainly because of the story. Because of the it was a little bit predictable. It could have this movie had every potential to be great. It was good. Good, I mean, it was not kill me, oh, it's my opinion. <laughs> the first Netflix, Nigerian Netflix original movie, I feel like it was a good one, like it was a good movie, and but hopefully, we will get, hopefully, oh, hopefully, hopefully, we will get a lot more Netflix original Nigerian movies. Netflix, Netflix, go and watch Lion Heart. And if you have watched Lion Heart yet, and maybe you disagree with some things I said, or you agree with some things I said, please, I would like to know. Say something down in the comments below. Don't keep the opinion in your head. Tell me, spit it out, spit it out, okay? I will hear, I will listen, and I read it. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe share and comment tell me what you think i want to know what so thank you for coming back to my channel and thank you for watching bye <laughs>